thank you for being with us today, James. Thanks for having me back, Paul. Great to see you. Why do you think catalog and listing optimization is important for, for vendors? It starts really with, with visibility. You know, are your products showing up for relevant searches? And tied to that is, are they ranking for specific search terms, you know, keywords that people are using? And then discovery really is concerned with are the products that you want to push and prioritize on the marketplace are those the ones that are getting the attention and then when shoppers actually come onto your listings are they being served with a high quality experience in terms of the, the content are you giving them enough to answer the questions that have kind of got them to your product listing in the first place it is the content reflective of your brand integrity um, and you know drivers within there to encourage conversion in terms of shipping options, uh, price competitiveness, all that kind of stuff. In terms of how you address this, I've kind of put together here, which is three stage, quantify the opportunity. We're then trying to basically rank the products that we've decided to go after. This is kind of bread and butter in terms of aspects which are going to drive search rankings and conversion rate on the listing. So the, the blue areas are ones that we pretty much have direct control over in terms of the content. But there's also a lot of other factors which determine where your products are going to rank and how they're going to convert with customers. And then once those products are active, we need to keep a close eye on those to ensure that there's no issues. We're kind of measuring performance. So when you are talking to a potential customer, to you know, a large CPG or health and beauty brand, where do you start in terms of sizing the price and, and, and auditing their opportunity? I suppose what we're doing in the initial stages is we, we, we want to have a clear understanding of what's the current situation with the client or the prospective client's listings, what's going on within their category, and essentially what opportunities can we go after and what, what do we need to prioritize? So yeah, this is kind of what a, an initial listing audit looks like. And this is where we're flagging areas that I think require improvement. And we sort of feed this into a scorecard. In this case, we're emphasizing your text content is really weak. The positive aspects obviously are, I suppose, the existing sales history on the listing, you know, relating to feedback, delivery options, bestseller rank, etc. These are factors that's obviously going to contribute to the ranking, but th there's a huge missed opportunity here, which could fairly easily be addressed in terms of doing some keyword research and an attempt at optimization. So what we're trying to do with certainly a lot of the other products we optimize is, is understand what niche that they fit into and how can we kind of win in that niche. Typically that comes down to going after longer tail keywords that have got say the lower search volume but obviously less competition kind of get the listing performing for those and then over time as long as those listings are resonating with customers you know customers are, are buying them then that's going to contribute to ranking for those more competitive and, and higher search volume terms what we're also interested in is kind of the size of the prize in terms of okay how big is this category and you know th this is quite astonishing in terms of the scale of it it's worth over 91 million on amazon uk this brand at the moment has got 12 percent market share and then we can also look at you know what's going on with the the competition in that whole category as well which is always useful when it comes down to actually optimizing a brand's list and its brand presence on amazon what does it actually look like you know within your agency the, the process for us You've got the, the kind of text-based content. Imagery, visuals is just as important, if not more important for certain product types. So we're often working with clients, either their existing design resource, or we can obviously create assets for them. We, we prefer to leverage their internal designers because they've obviously got the experience of the brand, the positioning, colour schemes, etc. So we're kind of guiding them in terms of 
best practice. This is an example of the conversion rating improvement we saw on that particular listing after sorting the content out. And, and just to give you a view on the ranking improvement, so we, we've gone after a couple of search terms here which might seem fairly niche, but the, the search volume on them is, is pretty decent. So what we've seen just by going through that organic optimization process is a significant improvement in the rankings for those keywords uh, just within a two week period. Regardless of how well a brand thinks their listings have been optimized, you know, there's always new keyword strategies, tools, methods coming out. And also the data is changing day to day. So you might have you might have optimized your listing a year or two years ago. It's going to be completely out of date in terms of the, the keywords you're going after. So you've got to, you know, be proactive in updating those listings and, and going after those new opportunities. I did want to um, squeeze in uh, a few questions here. We've got a few audience questions. You know, what is the best way to get in touch with you? You can either reach out to me on LinkedIn or drop me an email. My email address is james at weightcommerce.co.uk. Um, you know, always happy to, to help.